Okay, episode 29 of Wine, Music, and Games is coming at you right now. We've got some great wine, we've got some awesome music, and we've got a cool Push Your Luck game on tap. So stay tuned. So how are you doing, honey bunch? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. we got some good wine to talk about here. And, and some awesome music again. And more than one bottle. More than one bottle again? Oh my God, like last week. I think maybe week, we oh. need to partake in some wine. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. We have quite a few, actually. Yeah. Well, this, we talked about um, Honero Vera last yes, time and how much we enjoyed, especially the Rueda, the white, the Verdejo Sauvignon Blanc mix. Yes. And so um, we went online to try to buy something and we found out, oh, they have some other wines that we yeah. might like too. So we thought we might like the style. And I would say they did not disappoint. No, they did not. Uh, but good. what's interesting is these are both from the Monastrell grape. One was from uh, organic grapes and the other was not organic yeah. grapes. And we did a side by side on this. So we're like, oh, which one do you like better? Which one do you like? <laughs> I think we liked the we liked the we liked the non-organic non-organic a little better, <laughs> um, but the price is you cannot beat. No, uh, it's no, no. you know under ten. Uh, they're both very good. Yes. This is from the Gilles family estates again, family estates uh, vino familia, and um, if you like uh, that's uh, Monastrell, which is mm -hmm. like a Movedra. Mm -hmm. I think it is a Movedra, it is a but Movedra, it's the Spanish. So, yeah, Spanish take on the Movedra. Yeah, grape. Movedra grapes tend to be something we really like. Yes. They have a lot of structure. They sometimes have herbaceous notes to them. Like, right. They're, they're, they're really complex, right. but yet not too heavy. They're nothing like a cab. You know, right. they're very, they're much more lighter and food friendly wine. Movedra tends to be a blending grape, especially in France. Mm -hmm. So you, uh, you may have. Uh, in Bordeaux, it's one of the grapes that they use there. And if you've ever heard of a GSM, you know, mm. quite majority people say in a GSM, that's Grenache, Grenache Syrah, Syrah, and Malvedra. So they, and blended in different percentages and so on. So we think it's also interesting to taste just the grape itself. Some And, and these are both 100%, as far as I could tell, 100% yeah. Movedra or Monastrell. Um, yes. And so it's interesting to taste the varietal on its own and then also see what characteristics. So then you can know what characteristics it might be. And they did a taste a little different they from did. each other. Yeah. And we, we like them both. We would definitely recommend them. And the price is very much right. And these ones actually have corks in them. There we go. All right. So the music this week is a, it harks back to uh, an episode that we had for uh, a while ago, and that is an artist. And Shelley goes, "Oh, you like her a lot." Yes, Phoebe Bridgers, um, whose album last year, Punisher, um, came out and did very, very well. Mm -hmm. um, and so this one, in fact, she won uh, some Grammys, I think. For yeah. Her. This one is called Copycat Killer, which is a four-song EP. Um, you uh, of four of the songs that were on Punisher, but now done with a string uh, a string quartet mm. or an or string orchestra. It really makes her voice and the lyrics come out that much more. It's I very think beautiful. It's really beautiful, yeah, beautiful. Um, to listen to. It's only four songs, so easy to stream online. But if you get the vinyl. It's oh my gosh. Pretty. Exactly. Oh my gosh. So, you know, you gotta have pretty <laughs> vinyl. So, if you like Phoebe Bridgers, I definitely would recommend Copycat Killer, which is her latest EP. And now, now remind me. Yeah. One side is it just has etchings on it no, or something no, this like has that. Two songs on each side. And two songs on each side. Because sometimes um, each, yeah. these fancier ones, they have just, they. Yeah, you know, well, may not have a something on the other side, so well, I wasn't the, sure. Because of the difference in lengths of vinyl versus CDs, sometimes you'll get a uh, two albums, but only three of the four sides will have stuff. Okay, the fourth I just wasn't sure if that was yeah, the case. Not with the this. case. With okay, this one. all right. Yeah. All right, and our game this week is more of a push your luck game. Um, more and fun with m more players, but it actually was pretty it was great. Pretty great. It was actually two. pretty yeah. great with two, and most push your lucks aren't yeah, as exactly. good with two. We did get the chance to play it uh, last weekend when we had our first oh my god dinners <laughs> with, dinner with people over, uh, and it was great. Um, and we played that, real and we games. Played, yeah, real games with people sitting real at our people. table, all vaccinated, of course. Oh yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Um, and but this is Seven Summits. All right. Um, this is from Deep Water Games, designed by Daryl Andrews and Adrian Adamescu. Um, it plays two to five players, so we had five people. It was perfect. Mm. Um, and ages 10 and up, 30 to 45 minutes, and it definitely has that. And it has cool four-sided dice. 
It's awesome. Um, it is a pressure luck because mm -hmm. the six of the seven summits have the dice associated with them. Everett's. Everett's. Everest <laughs> is the seventh summit, and you can use any of the dice to go in when you choose a die on your turn to go up Everest instead. And the first person up to the top of a particular summit, and you have to do it exact, mm -hmm. then is able to uh, claim the points that are for that summit. And when a certain number of summits are summited, at least by at least one person, in fact, right. all of them by at least one person, then that's it, that triggers the end of the game. It's very fun because you can say, you know what, I'm going to keep going. And you have to roll, but you got these these mm -hmm. other dice that you got to put in. But sometimes you want to jump out early because you get some type of equipment or some kind of some end game scoring thing that you're going to be working towards. Right. So there are motivations to land exactly on certain spots right. and also with other players. And then you can work together and some different things that um, the yeah. game offers. It's quite a beautiful game. Yeah, um, it's it really, really artistically done. Yeah. And um, it worked. It did it. really work well. Two players. Yeah. And we, I think we had just as much two players as five, except we were with other people. So that yeah. did add a lot to the that game. That does add a little bit of fun. Though I really do like playing games just with her. We 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 do okay. Yeah. All right. We also so, do like to listen to music and drink some wine together so too. We got the wine. We got some yummy Monastrel from Honero Vera from the um, Gilles family estates. Yes, and then um, if you're interested, if you liked Punisher or you like Phoebe Bridgers, Copycat Killer is the new EP, which can be streamed, or the four songs are here on vinyl. And then finally, Seven Summits from uh, Daryl Andrews and Adam es uh, Adrian Adamescu uh, and Deepwater Games, two to five players, really fun stuff. Remember to subscribe down below, hit the bell so you're notified whenever we have a new episode, which is usually on Tuesdays. And of course, you you can help us out on patreon.com slash Garrett's Games and listen to the audio podcast, which has been going on for infinity and comes out every week, too. Yeah, a long time. <laughs> I think we're up to 778 episodes now. So, you know, hey, that's pretty cool. All right. Take care of yourselves. Have an amazing week. And we look forward to talking to you next week. Bye. Bye.